Well, Kantar Media Audience is, is, as it says, an audience measurement company. So we've been in that business for many, many years. We are evolving with the industry that we serve. Well, the, the, the biggest challenge for us at the moment is that we have never spent so much money on research and development that we're doing right now. So you can compare it to in the good old days when the, when the videos came out, the VCA, the VCR players, that you have those three systems, you have the, the Betamax systems, you have the Philips systems, and if you, if you were betting on one of those systems, you would have failed, but as a research company, you would be forced to follow all three. The whole uh, environment is changing so fast in the online market that you have to follow that. You have to be prepared to find solutions for whatever comes up, even if that thing that comes up disappears six months later uh, and so so for us it's to figure out where to put the research and development what is going to be the next new black in, in, in TV that that's our biggest challenge at the moment so the way TAM traditional TAM services operate and we run many of those around the world are that they are based on people meters traditionally where a meter is installed in the home an engineer visits the home to install a people meter attaches one to each TV set and panelists are asked to press a button when they come in and out of the room to register their presence in front of the TV. The challenge of that is sample size. Sample sizes you can get with people meter services are relatively constrained. The Astro DTAM service that we're running in Malaysia, we're using a different technique. We're using something called return path data, which takes data directly from Astro set-top boxes. So those Astro set-top boxes are already in the home because people are Astro subscribers. They can be activated for viewing data collection. So the box can track is it live viewing, time shift, recording, interactive, on-demand services and so on. A big advantage of that is that it allows us to get to much larger sample sizes. That means we can more robustly track the viewing of uh, the long tail of channels, we can more robustly track the viewing audience as it fragments across channels, across time and so on and so forth. Currently incorporated, what, what's going to be the trading currency going forward? I think it will be, end up being a mix. I don't think it's an either or in this situation. Um, so, so it's going to cost us as broadcasters and agencies, we've got to double our investors to, to have the data sources to be able to, to support the industry, the advertisers. Um, I'm not sure it's going to double. Um, I don't know exactly what the, what the cost implications will be, but um, you know, in an ideal scenario, there would be a hybrid or a combination of TAM and RPD and other sources, online viewing data, integrated into a single currency. And yeah, the industry will have to decide which, how it wishes to fund that.